fresh. No one is because it's warm. Okay. Page 44, World War. Daddy was just 17 when he fought in the Great War off in France. There's not much he's willing to say about those days except about the poppies. He remembers the poppies red on the graves of the dead. Daddy says that war tore France up worse than a tornado, worse than a dust storm. But no matter, the wild poppies bloomed in the trail of the fighting, brightening the French countryside. I wish I could see poppies growing out of this dust. May 1934. That's so sad. It is sad. Apples. Ma's apple blossoms have turned to hard green balls. To eat them now so tart would turn my mouth inside out, would make my stomach groan. But in just a couple months after the baby is born, those apples will be ready and will make pies and sauce and pudding and dumplings and cake and cobbler and have just plain apples to take to school and slice with my pocket knife and eat one juicy piece at a time until my mouth is clean and fresh and my breath is nothing but apple. June 1934. People are allowed to take pocket knives to school? People Back in the day it was a little different. Oh, that's messed up. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not messed up if they're just using it for like that. Now, if they were using it to fight with, well, that would be bad, but obviously they're not. Okay, here we go. Dust and rain. On Sunday, winds came, bringing a red dust like prairie fire, hot and peppery, searing the inside of my nose, the whites of my eyes, roaring dust, turning the day from sunlight to midnight. And as the dust left, rain came. Rain that was no blessing. It came too hard, too fast, and washed the soil away, washed the wheat away with it. Now, little remains of Daddy's hard work, and the only choice, choice he has is to give up or start all over again. At the strong ranch, they didn't get a single drop. Who fared better? Ma looks out the window at her apple trees. Hard green balls have dropped to the ground, but there are enough left, enough for a small harvest, if we lose no more. June 1934. So they finally got rain, but it was too much, too hard, too fast, and it just washed everything away. We need sprinkles. So was, we need sprinkles, right? So it didn't do them any good to get all that rain. It actually did them worse because it tore the wheat out of the ground. Harvest. The combines have started moving across the fields, bringing in wheat, whatever has managed to grow. Mr. Tuttle delivered the first load to town, selling it for 73 cents a bushel. Not bad. Mr. Chaffin, Mr. Harvestick, and Mr. French, they've delivered their harvest too, dropping it at the Joyce City Grain Elevator. Daddy asked Mr. Haverstick how things looked, and Mr. Haverstick said he figures he took eight bushels off a 20-bushel acre. If Daddy gets five bushels to his acre, it'll be a miracle. June 1934. I guess the rain was hungry. Guess the rain was what? Hungry. How much is a bushel? Uh, I'll show you in just a minute. All right, uh, last one. Yeah, I'll show you in just a minute how much a bushel is. On the road with Arlie. Here's the way I figure it. My place in the world is at the piano. I'm earning a little money playing, thanks to Arlie Wanderdale. He and his Black Mesa boys have connections in Keys and Goodwill and Texoma. And every little crowd is grateful to hear a rag or two played on the piano by a, long, by a long-legged, red-haired girl, even when the piano has a few keys soured by dust. At first, Ma crossed her arms against her chest and stared me down, hard-jawed and sharp, and said I couldn't go but the money helped convince her. And the compliment from Arlie and his wife, Vera, that they'd, sure, that they'd surely bring my ma along to play too if she wasn't so far gone with the baby coming. Ma said, okay, but only for the summer. And only if she didn't hear me gripe how I was tired or see me dragging my back end around or have to call me twice upon a morning or find my farm chores falling down. And only if Arlie's wife, Vera, kept an eye on me. Arlie says my piano playing is good. I play a set of songs with the world baby in the title, with the word baby in the title, like My Baby Just Cares For Me and Walking My Baby Back Home. I picked those songs on purpose for Ma. And folks that come here, come to hear Arlie's band, they like them fine. Arlie pays in dimes. Ma's putting my earnings away, so I, and I don't know where, saving it to send me to school in a few years. The money doesn't matter much to me. I'd play for nothing. When I'm with Arlie's boys, we forget the dust. We are flying down the road in Arlie's car, singing, 
laying our, our voices on top of the beat Miller Rice plays on the back of Arlie's seat. And sometimes Vera up front chirps crazy notes with no words. And the sounds she makes seems just about amazing. It's being part of all that, being part of Arlie's crowd I like so much, being on the road, being somewhere new and interesting. We have a fine time, and they let me play piano too, June 1934. So we're going to start in the summer tomorrow. Okay, let's...